What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about uh, feeding homeless people is against the law. Now, first thing first, in multiple states, if you feed a homeless person, you will be in prison. Yes, how does that sound? Like, it's illegal to, to burn a dollar bill, it's illegal to collect rainwater, and it's illegal to feed a homeless person. So let me get this right. If you worked hard for your money, right, and you see one of your fellow human beings on the side of the street starving and sad and crying, blah, 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 and damn near dead, and you decide to buy him or her some food, you can go to jail for that. So you mean to tell me that if I do a kind act out of my heart, looking for nothing in return, by feeding a homeless person, I can go to jail for that. This is how you know Satan runs the world because if God and God's people was running the world, feeding a homeless person would be something that you would need to do, something that you would want to do on a daily basis. But um, since this is Satan's world, feeding a homeless person is against the law. Now, this coincides with the concentration camps because I think I forgot what state exactly it was, but I know in multiple states in the U.S., um, they have this rule that homeless people either go to a concentration camp or they be in prison. Now, my thoughts on this is they say when these homeless people go to the concentration camps, they are forced to get the RFID chip because they give them a choice in the concentration camp. If they get the RFID chip, they will get them um, government assistance, you know, they will give them food stamps and Section 8 and things of that nature, right? But if they don't take the chip, then they have a choice of whether they want to just, um, like, leave or be in prison. You see what I'm saying? Now, the thing about that is, it's like, that coincides with the concentration camps and their plan because uh, they say, I forget exactly what state it was, but they say it's like, I think in uh, Columbus or something like that, they say like 147,000 people uh, went homeless because their homes foreclosed, and they say about 40,000 of those people are children. And they say since these people are homeless, it's illegal to feed them, which is stupid because if you earned your money and you see somebody starving on the street and you want to help somebody, how is that illegal? Now, this is coincides with their um, concentration camp plans because one, they need people to test the RFID chip on and who better to test the RFID chip on than the homeless person, you see what I'm saying? Think about it, come on, that's how they looking at it. And then, if you wanna get technical, think about it like this. They, they wanna put people in concentration camps that are sick. They wanna pe put people in concentration camps that are homeless. They wanna pe people in concentration camps that are violent, that they can't really control. You see what I'm saying? That's why they making people sick on purpose, GMO foods. That's why they um, uh, running into people's houses, taking their weapons, you know what I'm saying? Putting people on the street, you know what I'm saying? Because they just need subjects to test this on. You see what I'm saying? Now, open your eyes, all three of them, open you know, your first two eyes plus your third one, open all three eyes and see that this, something's wrong with that. How is it illegal to feed a homeless person? Only in Satan's world would that be possible. You see what I'm saying? So wake the damn up. Who gives a fuck what they say? If you see a homeless person and you know you can help them, just help them out. You know what I'm saying? Give them something, no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, your light gonna shine brighter and brighter every time you help somebody.